Hey y'all, here for Love and Hip Hop Season 3, Episode 2. Let's get into it. So it continues where it left off the week prior with Shonda and Willie confronting this Kaisha chick. And Willie denies contacting Kaisha. But, you know, Shonda pulls out the proof and he's like, well, I must have been feeling myself. So... You know, Shonda's like, oh, really? And he's like, listen, I don't like, I don't love that girl. I don't want to be with her, nothing. You know, I don't know what she's talking about. So Shonda's like, oh, really? Okay, well, I got her here, and I want to hear your side and her side. So all three of them go to, to talk, and, you know, they confront her. He apologizes to Shonda for the text messages or whatever. And Kaisha is like, um something about she she was pregnant or whatever and they've been off and on since 2004 and that Shonda doesn't know that Willie is in her bed when he's in Chicago so Shonda walks away and she's like you know what I can't deal with either one of you y'all can have each other and then she walks off I don't really know what to think with this storyline because I'm being told like I'm reading that the whole storyline thing is fake and that this Kaisha girl is just on this season for fame. It wouldn't be the first time because it was the same thing with Milan and Miles and Amber last season or whatever. Like it was, it was just a mess. So I wouldn't be surprised. So we get to Max and Brandy and their son and she's sitting in a room with them. Max comes in and he says that Brandy has been bugging him to put like some money aside for their son and his college fund. So he comes in and dumps twenty seven thousand on the floor. You know, Brandy's mad happy. Yay, money, Brandy's look, yay, money. And I'm looking at her like <laughs> she's so extra and annoying. Like it's it's terrible. So he said that he um had like an EP for twenty seven thousand and wants to start a new CD for their son so that he'll be able to go to college. And you know I'm like okay you know that's cool. He put money aside that he doesn't want to touch and make sure it's strictly for his son so that his son will be able to go to school. Perfect. So now we get to Masika. She's reintroduced. You know for those of you who don't know who Masika is, Masika was in season one. She's the she's the frenemy of Hazel E. And her and Nikki were bumping heads season one because she was messing with Molly Ma. But it turned out that Molly Ma was playing them both or whatever. But anyway, this season, she's pregnant by Fetty Wap. And Fetty Wap, you know, she said the relationship between her and Fetty Wap was good up until she got pregnant. And Fetty Wap denies that that's his baby. And she's like, you know, she just wants him involved. And, you know, people have their opinions that she just slept with a rapper for a check. And, but that's not the case at all. She has her own money and all this other stuff. So she goes to speak with a lawyer about options. So, um, you know, he's demanding a paternity test. And he basically told her that she's on her own if she keeps the baby. So, you know, she's like, she doesn't want her daughter to suffer, you know, being without a dad and, she wants to make sure that it's a decision that she, you know, that she really wants to make. And, you know, she's like, does she want to go to court? No. But does she feel like her hand is being forced? Yes. And I mean, sometimes as a mother, you got to make decisions. Uh, you have to make decisions. Sorry. That you wouldn't normally make because people in this shenanigans, you don't have time for like if a dude want to sit up here and claim that he's not the father. OK, then let's take away your rights. Let's take away, you know, let's let's eliminate all of this. Do child support and be done with it. You ain't got to be in her life. Just do what you're supposed to do and, and, and give child support or whatever. You know, it takes two to make a baby. So now we get back to Shonda and Willie. Shonda feels stupid. Willie apologizes and he discusses why he texts her. You know, he texts um, Kaisha and he said it's because they were going through what they were going through as far as financial strains and, you know, all the things that they were going through. So, you know, he just felt sorry for Kaisha and he denies that they even messed around. Shonda doesn't believe it and she wants to have another sit down with Kaisha so that she can hear, you know, the truth out of somebody's mouth because she knows somebody is lying. So now we get to Ray J and Princess. 
um, you know, she's bothered by the prenup talk and Brandy talks to her about it. And Brandy tells her, speak your mind. And, um, this is at like their engagement party or something like that. But Brandy pulls her aside and is like, speak your mind. You know, at the end of the day, this is your life or whatever. So say how you feel. So she, and in, in the same conversation, she asked Brandy to be the maid of honor and Brandy is like happy to do so. So Ray J speaks to Max about the prenup. And Max said he didn't do a prenup because it's like planning for the worst. So, you know, I mean, I like Max's way of thinking. Like, I just feel like if you're in love and you feel like you're going to be together forever, then don't bring up a prenup. A prenup is a sore subject. Like, just come up with some type of stipulations in your in your, your certificate or in your, you know, whatever it is that you get, come up with something, not a prenup, but, but come up with something that y'all both agree on, like just in case if something happens. But I mean, if you really feel like you don't need a prenup, don't get a prenup, you know? So Max then finds out that Brandy hasn't been with Princess Plain in the wedding. So Mama Sonia is adamant about the prenup. Like, she wants Ray J to get the prenup done. So, Ray J is, like, caught between a rock and a hard place. He doesn't know what to do. So, Max, you know, toasts to, to Ray J and Princess. And then um, Ray J does his speech or whatever. And he's like, you know, I got this prenup here. And, you know, it was said that I should get a prenup. But, you know what? I'm going to just rip the prenup up. We don't need that. You know, this is all love or whatever. And I'm like, see, Ray J, you being a man. It's your mother that wants the prenup. And Mama Sonia is like, there will be a prenup. I don't care what he said. And I'm like, listen, your son is grown. All right? Whatever he wants to do, he's going to do it. And you should know this by now. So now we get to Masika, Monice, and Nia. And they're discussing Fetty Wap's role as a dad. And... You know, Masika is like, I'm just going to do what I have to do for my child. I'm not depending on him for nothing. You know, I'm not expecting for him to do anything. I'm just going to do what I have to do as a mother. You know, it is what it is. So then they start talking about Monice going off on Princess and whatnot. And how she slept with Ray J 10 years ago. And she said that her issue started with um, Princess at Yandy and Mendeecee's wedding last year. And she had called Ray J Raymond and Princess was like, well, that's not his name. And she's like, well, I've always called him Raymond. She's like, whatever, that's not his name. His name is Ray. So they've been going back and forth since that. And she said that her and Ray J messed around back in the day. It was nothing serious. She doesn't care about either one of them. I'm like, well, if you don't care about them, then why are you talking about it gazillion years later? Like this is, it's ancient history. You talking about it now, like you being messy for no reason. So now we get to Princess and Jason Lee. I can't stand Jason Lee, y'all. He is such a queen. But of course, he's getting the messy tea for Hollywood Unlocked or whatever. And, you know, Princess thought she was there just to do, like, you know, talk about the wedding. But then, of course, he had to throw in the stuff that Monice has been saying about Princess. So he brings the interview up. And Princess is like, you know, I'm over Monice talking about me and Ray J. Like, you have nothing on nobody because all you do is talk about people. And you just, you know, you burn bridges. So Jason Lee is like, well, what's one thing you would want to talk, you would want to tell Monice? And she's like, get ready because I'm coming for you, bitch. And I'm like, oh, child. <laughs> Lord, these two are in their drama. So now we get to Shonda, Nikki, and Brandy. And Shonda is telling the girls about her confrontation with Kaisha and how she's upset and she's going to have a sit down with them. So she put um, Willie in the doghouse. And, you know, Nikki's basically asking her, you know, I can understand why you're upset with Willie. You know, I'm not knocking that. But what if she's telling the truth and Willie is lying? And Shonda's like, I don't know, man. Like, we got, we. that's why we're going to have a sit down because I want to find somebody's lying. So they're like, yeah, have that sit down, discuss what you need to discuss, and get it all out in the open. So now we get to Tierra and Moniz. And um, Tierra shows Moniz the clip of Princess responding back. And, you know, Moniz is basically dissing Princess and Ray J's marriage and about how Ray J is you know he he's a womanizer and all this other stuff. and i'm like moniz just stop just first of all these arguments that they have and they're petty and they're stupid and they all need to stop so 
Now we get to Soldier Boy and Ray J, and Ray J has a business proposition for Soldier Boy, and it's like this new hustle where he's selling these bikes, and he shows Soldier Boy a custom bike. He wants him and Soldier Boy to go into business together selling these bikes. So they test the bikes out. Soldier Boy likes it. Quite possibly could be a, a, a partnership. And I mean, the bikes are cute. It look like something that they ride and play on and whatnot in LA. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. And Soldier Boy, he still look like he 16 anyway, so it's perfect for him. <laughs> so now we get to Shonda Willie and Kaisha. They're getting to the bottom of things. So Kaisha comes in and she's like, you know, I think Shonda had asked her, you said something about a baby. What happened to the baby? And she's like, well, I lost the baby because at the same time you were pregnant and I was stressed and I had a miscarriage. So Willie admits to texting Kaisha, but he denies that they slept together. And Kaisha is like, you're going to deny, you're going to deny that we laid up together and we had sex and I made you come in like 2.5 seconds. And I'm like, Kaisha, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody cares. Like you just, you trying to prove a point and you making yourself look stupid in the process. Just stop. So... Kaisha tells exact details of where they met up and she was like well we were here and Shonda was in LA and da, da 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 and Shonda's like well how the hell you know where I was she's like because he told me so she's like um she says something to Kaisha and Kaisha says something back and Shonda just swung on her so Shonda just feels stupid and she feels like they're both lies in her book. She don't know who to believe. She don't care. She just wants to be over it. And that's basically where the episode ended. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about it. Personally, I just feel like this whole Willie, Shonda, and Kaisha thing is, of course, just scripted for storyline. I don't feel like any of it is true. I just feel like it's for a check, mostly for the Kaisha check. But y'all let me know how y'all felt about it. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.